Mohammad Javad Larijani, critics say, is one of Iran's main advocates of a hardline interpretation of Islam. He's a top advisor to the Supreme Leader and also the head of Iran's High Council for Human Rights. Euronews spoke with him in Geneva about executions, torture allegations and international relations. On the shooting death of a young woman amid protests in Tehran filmed with a cell phone camera, he makes reference to an extradition request. Euronews asked UK authorities for more on this. The official answer was no comment. The fact is uh, many people saying that hanging and uh, imprisonment of opposition leaders uh, is in fact uh, against the democracy. Well, uh, Nobody is hanged because of demonstration and opposition. But violence is something that the law will forbid. So nobody is hanged for, for demonstration, for opposition. Being imprisonment only is because of inciting violence. But do you consider them as protesters or waging war against God as Muharib? Muharib is, is another issue. It's not political protest. Muharib is a, a person who indulge in terrorist activity to bring down the government. And you are consider considering them as Muharib, the protesters? Yeah, or? no, no, protesters are protesters. Yeah, I but mean, for example, Musawi or Karobi. Well, even Kusari, Kusari, yeah. Not only them, the people of the street who, yeah. who protest one political issue or another. Why we should call them Muharib? Muharib is a legal uh, title for people indulging actively in subversive and violence against the state. Uh, this is uh, quite different. But in fact, human rights is, means that no execution. So, But Iranian, for example, executed two people uh, a few weeks ago. So how could you explain the official position of the two executions? Well, this, first of all, these two executions doesn't have any relation with the demonstrations, things like that. They were, they were jailed about seven months before the election. They were in charge of uh, bombing in the mosque in uh, Shiraz, which killed more than 20 people. Uh, those people and families, and especially the opposition, were talking about uh, torture uh, uh, events inside uh, Iranian pr prisons. Well, I cannot claim perfection like mm -hmm. any other country in the world. But torture is against our constitution, is against Islam, as against the policy of the government. The whole world saw the video of the young uh, Neda, uh, who uh, apparently died in front of the camera. Uh, how do you explain this? Neda Agha Sultan, it, it is uh, a very cruel thing happened. It is uh, a crime that uh, we don't know the extent of that yet. With the all information that we have, the person responsible for that criminal act right now is walking in one of the capitals of the European countries with full support. We ask them the extradition to Iran, they refuse that. But uh, the video of uh, Neda in front of the camera shocked um, um, millions of people in the Western country. It shocked country. millions of people in Iran as well. Yeah. Who did it? This is a big question. And uh, how they were ready to do it and how they took the, the, the film and how... You know, a guy came in just the night before this crime and flew back to the capital of a European country the day after with the whole movie with him. So I think he is the key person. He knows the all information. Uh, and the United Kingdom is in charge of that. They are responsible. They should put that person into full interrogation. The, the other he holds the key for that crime. Yeah, I see. In Western country, they are always talking about, and people is accusing Iran of uh, imprisoning uh, uh, opposition. And this is, in fact, uh, considered as violation of human rights. Well, I think uh, this is not a violation of human rights. If somebody indulges in violence, you should definitely pursue him by law. Protest is allowed, but violence is not allowed. In the Western country, they are, you are accused of uh, being a not uh, democratic country. Well, I think uh, Westerns are very uh, uh, e egocentric and, uh, and double standard in their judgments. Uh, while they are accusing us, they enjoy hot coffee with, uh, with dictators and they offer uh, lavishly whatever defense system they have. Let us list the list, uh, I mean, the name of uh, 
uh, of the countries uh, enjoying the full fledged support of Western countries. But they, which one is democratic? They have to say their own lists uh, talking about Musawi or Karobi and uh, other people who is already in prison, like uh, former industry minister or the deputy minister of foreign affairs. Well, uh, the, the Musawi and Karobi are not in the prison. Not Obviously, yet. we had a very fantastic election. In, in terms of election, it was a unique one. It was the most open election, debate, participation. Uh, obviously, one of the candidates uh, uh, in the last minutes uh, of the election day, they kicked out of the rules of the democratic competition, and he unilaterally announced himself the winner and asked his followers to come to the street. There are voices from inside Iran and outside Iran like uh, Mujahidi Khalq is always saying for Western countries that uh, we are uh, oppressed, we are in prison, we are arrested. Uh, so all of this making um, a, a profile of Iranian government as not exactly uh, a democratic state. These Mujahidi Khalq, they are a notorious terrorist group who at least killed more than 5,000 people in Iran. I mean, in blood, in cold blood killing. They are as well relaying the accusation of uh, people like um, uh, Nobel Prize uh, Shirin Ebadi as well, who is accusing Iran clearly. And uh, the last day she said, come and help us please to restore democracy in Iran. Well, I'm afraid Shirin Ebadi is mostly presenting the voices of White House rather than the voices of Iranian women. She is totally detached of the aspirations of the Iranian women. She should go among the Iranian women, not living outside. So I think what she's saying is, is the voice of White House, not the voice of Iranian nations. But from, from the other side, they are saying that Iran uh, government is uh, banning internet access, banning radios, banning foreign TVs, and uh, this in fact considered as, as well an act of human rights violation. Well, we feel that if there is an occasion, a ceremony or something that we, we get the signal, our security people, that there may be a threat of some bombing or uh, uh, terrorist activity, they try to curb everything. This is happening everywhere. Thank you so much. Thank you.